hi guys it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and today we are doing a reading for Lee Jun Ho all right let's get into this we are going to do his and his person so we're gonna pick up and do a Celtic cross it's not gonna be an astrology it's just gonna be um, him and his person like a twin flame soulmate connection here let's pick up on his energy please and we have oh he might be the life of the party okay <laughs> it's all about friendship collaboration emotional connections really that unity success and victory so wow so he's in a good mood <laughs> his energy is nice Let's look at his persons. Oh, I almost had a twofer. Oh, sh this person might be having some type of emotional loss here, emotional sorrow. Might be kind of going through something, a broken heart here. Yeah, let's see. This is the page of wands. Okay, so acting on chance. I feel like maybe just decided that this wasn't working and decided to move away from this. I feel like with the Page of Wands, this is maybe some other inspiration or there's enthusiasm and positivity here. So this person may have left a connection for him to be with him. So let's look at their intentions. What's his intention here? Oh, the Ten of Cups is his intentions. So he's looking at this person with as a fairy tale ending with this person. He's looking at her with the Ten of Cups. This is stability in a family, long-term relationship and security. I love it. Emotional happiness. Wow. And what about his person? Wow, look at that, the Eight of Wands. Now, this is about proposals or um, a breakthrough, promises, object of desire. <laughs> so, wow, so whoever this person is for him, they are all about, they would accept the proposal, I'm sure, if he was to ask. <laughs> or maybe they will ask. It's you know it's different nowadays as it was once before so and what is her in or his intent <laughs> sorry what's his intentions here or his intuition sorry i'll get it right yet okay his intuition is saying this could hurt me <laughs> by um it could be a little bit of um fear of loving Again, maybe he's worried about being disappointed or emotional baggage. Could be worried about losing this person. Let's get another card with that. I was going to say another cup. <laughs> Look at what came up. The King of Cups. So he's very emotionally balanced, generous, and compassionate. I feel like he's very um, understanding, I feel. So he is a little worried about possibly losing this person or getting hurt i'm feeling here what is her um their intuition telling them this person hmm not to miss this opportunity with the four of cups that this is not something you want to miss out on can i get another card with that please for intuition what is the other person's intuition <laughs> come charging in and fight for this this is about communicating communicate with him and i feel like they're not going to miss out on this opportunity okay let's see what their action is well his action what's his action what's lee jun ho's action okay so he might be this hurt could be from previous, okay? So he may be feeling like a wounded warrior. Maybe he was just gone through something here. And 
I feel like he's still moving forward though at at no matter what was thrown at him. So I feel like he's a, quite the survivor here and his actions are moving forward regardless of what happens. And I feel like this may be where he's putting this five of cups behind him thinking it's okay if I get hurt because I'm living my truth, my life. If I don't take a chance on this, how do I know if it's for me or not? And I feel like he's trying to swallow that fear or that worry of getting hurt. I feel like that's a, what life's all about, not about getting hurt, but learning lessons or finding your happiness. It's all about finding you and finding your happiness. So let's see what their action is. What's their action, his person's? Oh, they're getting a different perspective. Okay, let's look at this um, wounded warrior aspect of him for the nine of wands. Can we get another card for the nine of wands for him? Ah, the tower, upheaval, a change. So this might be a change for him. Maybe before um, he may have uh, given up and I feel like he's just not gonna do that. And this might be unexpected change, okay? And this may be giving this person a different perspective of him. Wow, this is beautiful. So what's his feelings here about this person? <laughs> this might be something he's manifested. He may have had a wish fulfillment or um, a prayer to ask for this person. Yeah, look at this. This is judgment. This may be something he's owed. Judgment can be in favor of somebody as well. Um, he may have manifested a calling or some kind of um, to make the right call the right judgment call this could be about a purpose too so let's see what are they feeling towards him his person they want to plant new seeds they're thinking about the future with him they're feeling good about this and wanting to plant new seeds so this is beautiful um i feel like this is gonna go far for these two when he meets this person. Let's just move this over a little bit so I have a little bit more room. Okay, what's his true heart's desire here? What's his true heart desire? Wow, the Nine of Cups. He wants to be content with things. He wants things to be, um, I feel like, a sense of well-being that wish fulfilled he wants that wish fulfillment he wants to achieve this this is beautiful i like this this is really great and what is their heart desire here their true heart desire <laughs> they're watching to find out um i feel like they don't know a lot about him I feel like they may have a lot of enthusiasm and positive outlook about a new opportunity with this person. I feel like their true heart's desire is to find out, to act on a chance to find out. And they may be watching him. Well, he is, I don't know if he's a singer or an actor or both or what, but they're watching him in any case. So they might see him on TV if he's an actor or they might hear him um, on YouTube or wherever his platform is. Um, I kind of feel like this is somebody that is willing to, I feel like jump at the chance at this, like really wanting to, this is somebody that's really truly desiring to find out what they can about him they have a lot of enthusiasm here they are looking at this as a an opportunity a new opportunity what's the outside forces here for him for him what's the outside forces for him and this one wanted to come wow the chariot <laughs> 
I feel like with the chariot in this sense, I, this is loyalty. This is cancer energy. This is about still being on a journey, having that independence, but I still feel like wanting that victory with this person. And I feel like somebody here might be saying it's all about the journey. <clears throat> Not a, a, about still having your independence, but still have that person with you. So what's their outside forces telling them to bring in an offer <laughs> or to accept an offer? I'm feeling like this is Knight of Pentacles. This is about going slow and being practical about this. Slow and steady wins the race. This may be somebody that's willing to do the hard work to get the productive results. And it might be somebody telling them, look, Relationships take hard work. Go slow with this. You know? And I feel like this is good information on both sides for them getting together. They both have a good sense of, I feel like, support from their family or friends about this person. So they're both wanting, like, on both sides, him and her or their person to get together so what don't they see coming what doesn't he see coming here oh, we got a twofer wow lots of desire and i feel like she is a, a sweetheart or this person is a sweetheart and very desire very desirable uh, i feel like he's going to really desire this person He's going to see them as a sweetheart. What doesn't, what doesn't this person see coming about him? That they may have to adapt, possibly to his schedule. He might have to multitask, or this person may have to multitask to be with this person, with Lee Jun Ho. So I feel like there's a bit of a balancing act here. Yeah, but they're going to feel so lucky to be with him. I feel like there's going to be a lot of luck here to have them going in the right direction. What's the lesson? What's his lesson here that he's learned along the way here? Possibly with this person. What's the lesson? Okay. It might be about betrayal. So this may have been something he's already learned. Can I get another card with that? Yeah. It may be about deception and options and that transformation I'm feeling so whatever lessons he's learned I feel like he's transformed about his options he may be not looking at all the people that he coulda woulda shoulda I feel like any I don't feel like he's focused on the deception either there may have been people in his past that he's had deceive him and I feel like there may have been a lot of people that have deceived him and I feel like this transformation here is about not worrying so much about how many other options there are I feel like it's about picking the right cup that helps him transform or whatever lessons he's going to learn is going to help him become a better person What's the lessons for them? What are the lessons they may have gone through? Okay, so they may be a little guarded because of what they've maybe been through with the Queen of Swords. Very intelligent, maybe changing the way they look at things, okay? I feel like, or how they communicate. This is about a change, I'm, I'm feeling communicating. So they may be more, I'm feeling like a strong, type of maybe um, personality. They have a strong personality. I feel like there's some obje objective that has to be looked at here. Something looked at objectively. Now this may be somebody that's a little cold, but they're very determined. And I feel like he's going to warm them up. Okay, so let's look at what spirit's advice here for him. Equal give and take. Okay, 
So he needs to learn how to give back as much as he gives, or he's wanting to be received, receive what he gives out. So this is Spirit's advice to him to give that equal give and take, maybe something he has to work on with the Eight of Pentacles. So how about Spirit's advice for his person? What does his person know? They're very cooperative here. They're a team player. So I don't feel like there's going to be much of a problem here. They're going to collaborate just fine. But there still has to have that equal give and take. And with a, such a strong personality, I feel like his person isn't going to be walked all over. I feel like they're going to be a team player. But they're not going to be, I feel like, somebody that's going to cower away I feel like they're emotionally connected here and I feel like they're I feel like it's like shared goals and learning new things from each other that cooperation that teamwork there's wisdom here too and I feel like this person is quite wise about what needs to be worked on here and I feel like they may remind them of this fact. This is Spirit's advice to work on that equal give and take. So, and I feel like with this cooperation and team player, I feel like they're on equal playing fields here. What's the outcome here for him? Oh, okay. So whatever ends has a new beginning. So I feel like whatever behaviors has come to an end. I feel like that's going to change for him. With the world card, this can mean the right path, that he's charming, celebrating success as well. And what about his person? Ah, some type of the seven of swords. Oof. This is shady ass behavior. This is cheating, lying, manipulating, getting away with something. Okay, so hmm, let's get another card for the Seven of Swords. What is this? Hmm. So he may, they may feel like he's getting away with somebody, something here. There may be needing to be some type of truth, or they're trying to get away with something here. This one also wanted to come, and this is the Page of Cups. So this is somebody that's young at heart kind, emotional, creative, creative opportunities. I'm feeling like possibly telling a truth about what they're trying to get away with. And it may be just that they're, they come across very innocent, that inner child, that happy-go-lucky kind of person. And it might just be just that. What's the world card? Let's find out from him. Okay, so he might be hanging on. The, he's ended something here, and he's still hanging on to it. So this might have something to do with something that happened here. Maybe somebody told the truth now, and it's there might be a bit of an age gap here. What's the outcome here for him? He's waiting for something here. He's holding on to something. He may have had to let this person go because of something that happened. This person may be quite serious about this and wanting to tell this truth. May have something to do. Maybe they didn't tell him about something. Hmm. Queen of Pentacles. Maybe that they have money material success maybe they were working on something here and got some type of success here they got away with something though i wonder if this was about money well what is this outcome here why is the queen of pentacles here oh okay this person got a blessing here there's some type of blessing. What is he waiting for? Oh, okay. Empress, have somebody from his past. There's some truth here. 
Oh boy. He's waiting for somebody from his past, this empress, that he wants this happy life with. Is it this person? She is the blessing. Or he was. Let's see. What what's the blessing card? What's the ace of pentacles here on his on their side? Oh, using their intuition. High priestess. Mystery. Knowledge. This person may have known this. What's going on here? Mm. Okay, so there were some boundaries that needed to be put in place here on this person's side. Maybe they were too sweet, gave too much, saw this saw Li Jun Ho as the blessing and maybe wasn't listening to their intuition about what was going on here. He could have broken off but was still hanging on for somebody, waiting for somebody to come back around from his past to tell some type of truth. His empress, and he may have needed to tell the truth about this past person. Maybe he was married once before, or that he wanted to marry this person. Okay, so <laughs> this is supposed to be his person that he he's ends up with for life like his person so boundaries needed to be learned here <laughs> okay so what happens to his person then what's going on with this person once she gets her boundaries in place there's some healing here so there's some healing and uh oh two of cups maybe they come back together here so what happens with him? He's doing some healing too with the <laughs> hermit. So he may heal this. Once they break up, he may realize what he's lost here, this blessing. What happens now after he heals? Uh oh, so he's he's single. And what happens? Maybe she finds somebody. What happens? Oh, he goes back with a cup of love, but who's he going to? Who's he going to? Is it his person? Is he going back to his person? An ending. Or a transformation. Ah, he's going for the Ten of Pentacles here. I feel like it's her his person i feel like there's some healing over the past person that he may have wanted to get together with and he may have even gone to this person he wanted to have and they may have said no he wants that ton of pentacles though what's going to happen here he may feel left out in the cold. He may have done too much. She may she's looking at love here. So what's going on her side here with the two of cups? What's the two of cups? Ah, she may feel deceived by him going and going to see. There might be conflicts and arguments here. She may want to win at all costs too. There's healing here, though, and patience. This is star card, though. This is, I was going to say temperance, but this is star card. So this is about hope and promise and healing, having faith, maybe even looking for guidance. What about his side? What's going on in his side here now? He's going to come charging back to her to his person and want to take a leap of faith okay so she's definitely having faith that possibly she may have felt very betrayed that he did this there may have been some arguments over it yeah there's anxiety here and she's 
looking at her worth look at that beautiful she's confident and determined and self-assured now she may even be very optimistic and wow look at the turnaround with these two he's wanting to take that leap of faith he might have competition now <laughs> when it comes to her yeah he's learning something about being his happiness i feel he's learning something here i feel they both did they both healed something here as well and with the sun card, I mean, that's that's abundance, sex, joy, success. It's in all areas of their life and happiness. Look at that. <laughs> wow. So I guess they had to learn something together. This is about this new relationship, this divine love, having compassion. This is about emotionally awakening that love and intimacy and looking at each other as the gift or a blessing and i feel like this is what needed to happen for these two to realize what they really mean to each other wow isn't that beautiful so the sun and the ace of cups i'm glad i kept going because i wanted to see what was going on here so he obviously thought that he needed to be go back to somebody from his past and that didn't go as he thought it would okay and she hung in there she got her boundaries in place and found herself love and she maybe needed to get that self-worth maybe she gave too much that was about that working on um right here that equal give and take that he needed to work on and it wasn't there he had eyes for someone else so i kind of feel yeah i feel like this was necessary and spirit had to have this happen in order for them to realize what each other meant to each other here wow this is beautiful everything turns out well so what is their combined energy here on the bottom of the deck here their transformation of all this <laughs> i can't make this up look at this this is the lover's card well you are you kidding me like seriously wow <laughs> wow so everything came out really well and they really learned that this was a divine union, a divine love. Wow, I couldn't have asked for a better outcome for this. Wow, Spirit, thank you for that. That is so beautiful. I hope you enjoyed the reading. This is really great. I They're going to be very happy once they get together. I kind of feel like this could be... I'm kind of feeling between one to five months from now. I don't feel like it's years. It could be weeks even. But yeah, wow, this is beautiful for them. I'm really happy for them. And uh, if you want to donate to the channel, people are asking, there is a PayPal account down below in the description box. You can just click on it and it takes you right in. And you can... Um, put in a donation if you'd like to so and uh, become part of the tribe guys I mean if you really enjoy my readings and you like my channel um, I absolutely adore you all for all the support and for y'all sticking with me and y'all supporting the channel by watching the content I really appreciate each and every one of you really so take care, guys. We'll see you next time. Stay blessed. Okay, later.